Hi! Welcome back to MindFlux. Social media addiction is a serious issue that has risen in recent years. More and more people are finding themselves addicted to social media, which can have many negative effects on their life. In this video we will discuss what social media addiction is and how you can overcome its effects on your mental health. Let's jump in! Social media is everywhere and can be addicting. Studies show that social media addiction affects the brain in ways similar to drugs, alcohol or gambling addictions. Because it feeds off of dopamine release, without providing any real benefit for the user other than temporary feelings of pleasure. The dangers associated with this type of consumption seem limitless as we're turning into zombies who exist solely online, seeking validation from likes instead making connections face to face. Which leads us down an even darker path towards isolationism, where you only communicate through screens rather than truly interaction. Not all social media use constitutes addiction. Addiction occurs when you develop a tolerance and dependence on the activity, experience uncontrollable urges to engage in it despite knowing that it is bad for your health or well-being, find yourself spending more time engaging with these sites, than what's reasonable given how much work needs done outside of them, for example, going out less often, as well physical signs such withdrawal symptoms upon ceasing use such major changes in sleeping habits, increased irritability leading up until one's next usage session. Social media addiction is no different. If you stop using social media for a period of time or cannot access the internet, your withdrawals may be physical, and emotional symptoms like anger or anxiety as well as increased cravings to use it again once they're gone. Here are some negative effects of social media addiction. Number 1. Your addiction to social media can be an issue. You may find yourself trying to lie about how much time you spend on these platforms, or even becoming embarrassed with what others think of your habits and try hiding them in order for them not to judge us as addicts. Number 2. It's important to use social media responsibly in order not only protect yourself from addiction, but also maintain a professional output tone. Healthy use shouldn't impact your ability to get work done or attend school, with appropriate phone time during class and performing certain jobs like journalism assignments where they may sneak off for some quick blogging updates. You might find yourself spending so much of the day fixated on Facebook that it takes all focus away from completing tasks at hand, which could lead you into consequences such as disciplinary action suspension or termination depending on how serious this problem has become over time. Number 3. People, who are addicted to scrolling through social networks may find themselves abandoning their previous interests and activities in favor of spending time on mobile devices instead. Even if it means not doing something they used to enjoy before like hobbies, or personal relationships with others. Number 4. These addicts often neglect their in-person relationships and find themselves constantly checking their phone during conversation. This addiction can have a serious effect on those around them as well. Those who care about you, might feel frustrated when they see social media applications take so much of your day while ignoring other aspects that need attention to such as family and friends. It's a common struggle to feel the pressure of social media and its addictive qualities. You may log on multiple times per day, spend endless amounts of time posting or engaging with other users and neglecting yourself in some cases. But don't worry. There are ways for you to utilize this platform without feeling consumed by it all too much. We have listed down 5 ways to utilize your time on social media. Number 1. Make sure your posts have an interesting story behind them. Number 2. Only post meaningful content. Number 3. Avoid multitasking when scrolling through feeds. Number 4. Take breaks from screens every hour. Number 5. Get smart about what types of online platforms work best for different audiences. That's it for today. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for MindFlux.